Grab your My View Literacy Book 1.4 and open it to page 76 and 77. This is our biography anchor chart. We started it last time. Remember, biographies often tell the events of someone's life in the order that they happened. First, next, then, last. Sometimes they use a timeline to show you the beginning, middle, and end of their story and all the events in between. Today's story is Jackie Robinson. It's a biography because it's a true story about a real person. This is a real person and it was not written by him. It was written by somebody else. So it's a biography. Do you like to play baseball? Jackie Roosevelt Robinson did. He was so good that he became a Hall of Fame baseball player. He was born in Cairo, Georgia on January 31st, 1919. So when we read dates, like 1919, we read the first two numbers together, 19, and then the last two numbers together, 19. Just like when we read 20, 21. This year, we read the first two and then the second two, 2021, 1919. Jackie Robinson loved sports. In college, he was on football, basketball, baseball, and track teams. What did Jackie Robinson love? Highlight the word. What did he love? Right, sports. I don't have a highlighter, so I'm going to underline it, but you can highlight it in your book. We know this because it says Jackie Robinson loved sports, and it says all the sports he played. He played football, basketball, baseball, and track. In 1945, Robinson began playing baseball for a team called Kansas City Monarchs. The Monarchs were a team in the Negro League. Underline the phrase that shows the events are told in chronological order or in time order, so the order that they happened. What word gives us clues? Over here, we have in 1945, Robinson began. This word began is going to be our clue that this is the beginning of his playing baseball. So I'm gonna underline began. Take a look at this picture. Notice anything special about this league? Right, everyone in this league is African American. Let's keep going to see what happens next. There was another baseball league called the Major League. African Americans were not allowed to play in the Major League in those days. In August of 1945, Robinson met a man named Branch Rickey. Rickey ran a team in the Major League. His team was called the Brooklyn Dodgers. Ricky asked Robinson to be the first African American to play in the Major League. Robinson said yes. On April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson ran onto the field to play first base for the Dodgers. So he got to play on the Major League's team. Underline when Jackie Robinson first played for the Dodgers. Right here, this was the first day he was allowed to play on their team, April 15th, 1947. Most baseball fans cheered for Robinson, but some booed. They did not like having an African American play on the major league. Readers can use other words and pictures to help them learn or clarify word meanings. Underline the words that help you figure out what booed means. They did not like. That makes me know that this is a negative word. I can also look at the picture. He looks a little bit worried in here, but it also looks like he's signing autographs for people. Booed means that they're going boo because they don't like something. Go ahead and turn the page. Robinson kept playing anyway. He worked hard to be a good baseball player. In his first season, he was Major League's Rookie of the Year. Two seasons later, he became the most valuable player. Underline the words and phrases that show the events are told in time order. 
in his first season. First is our clue. Two seasons later. Later is our clue. So these two words, first and later, tell us it's happening in time order. Still, many people kept doing and saying mean things to Robinson. They would write nasty letters to him and call him names. Some of these people were his own teammates. After a while, Robinson began to stand up for himself. A lot of people admired him for doing this. Look here, it looks like they got in a fight. How does Jackie Robinson react when people are mean to him? Highlight what he does. After a while, Robinson began to stand up for himself. Make sure you highlight or underline began to stand up for himself. Robinson played his last season in 1956. By then, more African Americans were playing in the major league. Robinson died on October 24, 1972. He was 53 years old. A life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives. Jackie Robinson. Underline the words and phrases that show the events are told in time order. Well, he played his last season. Last is our time clue. And right here, Robinson died. Died tells us this is the end. Robinson did a great thing with his life. He made a difference. Thanks to Jackie Robinson, African Americans are able to play baseball in the major league. We're going to skip this check for understanding and go to use text structure. Text structure is the way information in a text is organized. A biography can be in chronological order or in time order. Write one, two, three, or four to put the events from Jackie Robinson's life in chronological order. Use what you underlined in the text. Jackie was a major league's rookie of the year. Jackie played his final season. Jackie plays first base for the Dodgers. Jackie began playing baseball for the Monarchs. So this is number one. This happened first. What happened after Jackie began playing baseball for the Monarchs? Was he rookie of the year? Did he play his final season? Or did he play first base for the Dodgers? Let's look back and see. Here he's in college. Here he's playing for the Monarchs. On the next page, we're talking about the Brooklyn Dodgers. And here we underlined, on April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson ran onto the field to play first base for the Dodgers. So playing first base for the Dodgers is two. What would be next? Is he going to play his final season or be Major League's Rookie of the Year? Let's keep going and find out. Here they did not like having him on the team. Let's look at this page. In his first season, he was Major League's Rookie of the Year. So this is his first season. So this is going to come before his final season. So this is three, which means this is four. He played his final season and final means last. So I know that one's right. Create new understandings. Readers can synthesize or compare information they read in a text to learn something new. What new understanding can you come up with about why Jackie Robinson stood up for himself? Look back at what you highlighted in the text. So let's go back to where he's standing up for himself. Still many people kept doing and saying mean things to Robinson. They would write nasty letters to him and call him names. Some of these people were his own teammates. After a while, Robinson began to stand up for himself. A lot of people admired him for doing this. So why do you think he should stand up for himself? Was he being treated fairly? No, he was being bullied. So it's good to stand up for yourself when you're being bullied. 
What new understanding can you come up with about Jackie Robinson stood up for himself? He stood up for himself. Because he was being bullied. So is it okay to stand up to bullies? It's okay to stand up to bullies as long as you don't hurt anyone. It's not nice to be a bully just because you're being bullied. So it's okay to stand up for yourself just like Jackie Robinson. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.